Hey guys, welcome back uh, to my channel and today I am going to talk all about hamster wheels. So if you went up to anyone, even if they have never owned a hamster before, and you told them what is one thing that would be in a hamster cage, they would definitely say a hamster wheel. That is one of the uh, basic needs that hamsters have. They love to run, they love to play, and they need a wheel to do that in as um, most people don't have the biggest cage ever to provide them with enough running space. Um, so they have a hamster wheel. Just to be clear, a hamster wheel does not make up for um, a large cage. Hamsters should have very, very large cages. I have an entire video talking about that, so I am not going to go into detail, but hamsters do need very, very large cages. Uh, there are many different sizes of hamster wheels. There are many different types of hamster wheels, and I am going to be talking about Hamster Wheels 101 in this video, so um, I hope you guys enjoy. So hamsters haven't always used wheels. Um, the first time the hamster wheel started becoming uh, very popular for your pet was in 1949 from a newspaper advertisement. Um, they advertised uh, hamsters on a wheel and it just started becoming a very uh, big trend and people started uh, doing hamster wheels as a basic necessity for a hamster and they still are a basic necessity. We still um, need them with our hamsters as hamsters have a ton of energy and they can't just get it out in their cage so they uh, need a wheel to get out their energy. When hamster wheels were first created people started using um, mesh and wired materials to make these wheels uh, so that the hamster when they pee on the wheel they um, the pee doesn't uh, get caught on the wheel they can just go through the rungs uh, the wires of the wheel, and you don't really have to clean the wheel too often. Um, but research has shown that wired hamster wheels are actually dangerous to hamsters. They can cause bumblefoot, which is um, on a hamster's foot, they get cuts from running on the wires, and um, those cuts uh, get very irritated and infected, and it causes bumps and scratches and uh, infected spots on their paws. So um, there have also been signs of a hamster running on their wheel and then getting their foot or toe caught in one of the uh, wires of the wheel or the mesh. And um, this is obviously not safe. It is actually considered dangerous uh, by many experienced hamster owners. Um, and me mesh wheels are just dangerous and not safe for your hamster. So um, I would stay away from mesh wheels as they are very dangerous for your hamster and they shouldn't even be sold in the pet store. When you have a hamster wheel, your best option is a solid plastic wheel that doesn't have any gaps for their feet to get caught in or anything bad to hurt your hamster. So um, a solid plastic wheel would be your best option. This is where it gets incredibly complicated and that is um, the size of wheel for your hamster. What is too big? What is too small? Um, is there a size that I have to go by? And yes, there is because there are people in pet stores selling teeny tiny itty bitty little wheels and um, those can not be good for your hamster as they uh, can bend their back and they are not um, safe for um, most Syrian hamsters and uh, most dwarf hamsters as well. So um, please stay away from the teeny tiny little like four inch, two inch wheels that uh, don't even look like they can fit a hamster. So um, I am going to show you the wheel sizes now. So the smallest wheel that I own is this um, little five inch wheel that came with a small hamster cage um, that is unsuitable, but um, I got this uh, that came with a little hamster cage and this is a five inch wheel. Um, this wheel is too small for any type of hamster, dwarf hamster, 
uh, Roborowski dwarfs even, especially Syrians, this wheel is uh, too small. Five inches or less is too small for any type of hamster and shouldn't be used uh, for hamsters at all. This is too small for any type of animal, including mice and gerbils. Um, so I would stay away from this wheel. Um, I will insert a video clip of uh, my Syrian hamster, Angel, trying this wheel. As you can see, it is way too small for her. And um, even for my Roborowski Sugar, uh, you can still see a slight bend in her back. So I would definitely stay away from five inch wheels or less. The next wheel that I am showing is a six inch wheel. This is the KT Silent Spinner. And um, this wheel has been shown to be much too small for Syrian hamsters. Um, it bends their back and it uh, causes um, back issues in your hamster. So a six inch wheel is uh, too small for um, a Syrian hamster. Um, dwarf hamsters have also been shown to have bent backs in it. Uh, Russian Campbells and Winter Whites uh, haven't um, been shown to uh, be good in this wheel, as well as Chinese hamsters can't fit in here um, at all anyways. Um, Roborowskis can fit in this wheel, but this is the smallest I would give a Roborowski. And um, I would definitely look for bigger if you can uh, do bigger for your hamster, definitely go bigger. Um, this can fit a Roborowski, but that doesn't mean that they will be completely happy with the size. The next size wheel is um, my 8 inch wheel. Um, this goes for, uh, what I said for 6 inch also goes for 7 inch as well. Um, this is an 8 inch uh, comfort wheel that I got from PetSmart. And um, this, I would say, is the minimum for a Russian Campbell's and Winter White. This is what I use for my Roborowski Dwarf, and she loves it. This is definitely a good recommended size for a Roborowski. An 8-inch wheel is perfect for them. It doesn't bend their backs, and it's also not too big for them. So this wheel is definitely recommended for Roborowskis. It is the smallest you can go for Winter Whites and um, Russian Campbells. If you have a small Syrian, like a very small 100 gram Syrian, you may be able to get away with this wheel, but they will not be too comfortable in this wheel. And I don't, I say that Syrian hamsters should not be going in eight inch wheels as they are still pretty small for them. And they're still um, not going to be as comfortable as they can be in this wheel. So I say definitely stick to dwarfs for this wheel. What I said for the 8-inch wheel will also go for 9-inch wheels as well. The next wheel that I have is a 10-inch wheel. I am using this for my um, Syrian hamster Angel. A 10-inch wheel, I would say, fits most Syrian hamsters and um, is a very good size. I definitely would recommend this for a smaller Syrian hamster. A 10-inch wheel is perfect for them. Uh, if you have a Winter White or Russian Campbells, they are going to thank you for this wheel because a 10-inch wheel is definitely a very, very good size for a um, Russian Campbells or a Winter White. 10-inch wheel is perfect for small Syrians and Russian Campbells and Winter Whites. I would say that if you have a Roborowski, you could try this wheel, but they may have a little bit of trouble turning it due to their small size. So I would say stick to Russian Campbell's Winter Whites and small Syrians for a 10 inch wheel. For 11 inch wheels, I would say that you need to check your Syrian hamsters back. Um, what I said for the 10 inch wheel goes for 11 inches as well. Um, and it really just depends on the size of your hamster. I would say 11 inches would be for a medium sized hamster. A uh, normal Syrian hamster would be very happy in an 11 inch wheel. And the last wheel I have is my massive 12 inch wheel that I am using for my Syrian hamster journey. Journey is not a big hamster, so, um, but I'm using this wheel for her anyways, as my past hamster, Lily, was a, 
um, very large hamster and had to have a 12 inch wheel. Um, a 12 inch wheel is perfect for all Syrians uh, for the most part. Um, large Syrians will love a 12 inch wheel and small Syrians can also fit in this as well. I would say if you have a Russian Campbell's or Winter White, you just need to check to see if they can turn it well. Um, I would say this is big, too big for a Roboroski as they would have a lot of trouble turning this wheel and may not be able to use it um, and run as fast as they would like. So I would say most Syrians, unless you have a very, very large Syrian hamster, will be able to fit in this wheel. This is perfect for large hamsters. And um, I would say this is the best uh, sized wheel for a Syrian hamster, and your Syrian hamster will thank you if they have a 12 inch wheel as well. I would say a uh, one con about having a um, 11 and 12 inch wheel would be its size. Um, this wheel is very big and it is actually too big for the detoff, which is why I have a raised lid on Journey's detoff to be able to hold the um, 12 inch wheel. Um, you will need to make a raised lid if you have an IKEA detoff and you're really just going to need to check the height of your cage because 12 inches um, it doesn't fit in all cages, so you just need to um, check on that. I hope this video has been um, helpful for you if you are looking for a new wheel for your hamster, if you are starting off on hamster care and want to know uh, what wheel you should use. I hope this video has been a help to you. Um, I hope you have enjoyed um, seeing all of the wheels and uh, their pros and cons and um, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye guys!